All right, guys, if you've been watching my other channel, That Nate Guy on Halloween, make sure you go over there and subscribe. You know that yesterday I put up a video inflating this giant guy right here, the giant inflatable 10-foot clown with spinning animated buttons. This guy is absolutely awesome, and in fact, he only comes in second to this guy over here, the Frighten a Box Inflatable from Spirit Halloween. But that is actually the question today. Does he really come in second? Because let me tell you what, this guy's enormous, this guy's enormous, this guy's awesome, this guy's awesome. Today, we're gonna set them both up, inflate them next to each other, and you guys are gonna make the decision on which one is the more awesome inflatable clown. So first, let's take a look at their boxes individually, guys. Let's start with the giant inflatable clown. Now, I bought this the other day at a store called The Party Place here in Canton, Ohio. You can see I paid $79.99 for him. Now, he originally was available at Party City. Well, actually, it was Halloween City because I saw him right inside the door. They always have all kinds of inflatable set up at Halloween City. And he was standing there towering over everyone looking straight down at you with those eyes while his buttons were spinning and mesmerizing me. It was so crazy. He was so awesome. I did not buy him when I first saw him, but I'm so glad I bought him the other day. So let's take a look. He is over 10 feet tall. He lights up. He has spinning buttons. And let me tell you, if you watched the video yesterday, you know he is totally awesome. Let's turn the box around here. You can see how he looks right there. His hair, it's questionable whether it's hair or horns, but it has like real fur on them, so it's really cool. The buttons do legit spin very fast, and they mesmerize you and put you to sleep. And there's a look at the other side of the box. Now, that is the giant inflatable clown from Party City. So let's move on to this guy right here, the giant Fright in the Box inflatable from Spirit Halloween. Now, as you know, Fright in the Box is an animatronic that came out a couple years ago from Spirit Halloween. And then after that, they followed it up with the inflatable. My personal opinion is the inflatable is 100% better than the actual animatronic. But let's just take a look at this on the box here. Lights up with bright LED lights for indoor or outdoor use. Self-inflates in minutes. Eight foot inflatable. So he is eight feet tall, where the giant inflatable clown is over 10 feet tall. But I think you're going to find that that might not even play into your decision of which one is the best. Maybe it will, because this guy is absolutely enormous. However, this guy is also absolutely enormous. Now, let's go ahead and turn this. There's a picture of him in front of a house. There's just the back of the box, as you would know. And as you can see, he costs $99.99 at Spirit Halloween. Now, I don't know what the original price of the giant inflatable clown was at Halloween City, but he was probably comparable, probably about a hundred bucks. So there they are together. Once again, let's go ahead out front and we're gonna get these inflated. And then you guys can tell me which one you like the best and we'll see which one wins this contest. <laughs> And there they are, guys. Look at them. They are both 
so totally awesome. I mean, if you told me right now that I actually had to choose between them and make the decision of which one I thought was better, man, I don't know. I just, I can't even choose. They're both so totally awesome. They're both huge. They're so colorful. I love how this guy over here looks sort of like the sandworm from Beetlejuice. I love how this guy over here has the, uh, the hair that actually blows in the wind and how he kind of shakes a little bit because of his spinning buttons. I love how this guy over here just has such an enormous noggin and how his, uh, his box here says Happy Halloween. I love the enormous feet on this guy and like I said, his spinning buttons. I love his polka dots on his arms and how he just towers above and looks down at you. Just look at them side by side, right? Right there like I said in the other video guys I am NOT a big clown person but sometimes some of these clown props are so totally awesome so here's a side view and you can see how like the giant 10-foot uh, clown stands straight up but he has like scoliosis <laughs> and then Fright in a Box over here, he kind of is lunging forward. And like I said, I really love how he's black and white striped and reminds me of Beetlejuice. I think that's so totally cool. I love how he has a red bow tie and reminds me of Pee Wee Herman. Rest in peace, my brother. But you can't ignore this guy who just stands there looking over you and mesmerizing you with those spinning buttons. Look at that. You are getting very sleepy. So looking at them from this side, again, you can see how the 10 foot clown has like that wave to him. I think that is so cool. And you can see how the Fright in the Box is just kind of lunging forward. Fright in the Box is noticeably shorter, obviously. He's only eight feet tall. The other guy is 10 feet tall, but man, I just don't see anything that takes one thing over the other that makes one better than the other. So I have to ask you guys, what is your vote? Which one of these do you like the best? Both of them have yellow eyes. Both of them need the Aquafresh. Both of them have red noses. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love Halloween so much, guys. I need to do this with more of my animatronics and inflatables. Just pull them out here and do a voting video where you guys can say which one you like between them. So let's just do a little bit more comparing here and look at a couple more of their little features. So on the sides of each, they have these loops. They have strings that actually would go down to stakes that would go into the ground. He has them. And this guy has them as well. Look how huge they are overlooking my yard. That is so hilarious. But let's go ahead and come around to the back here because I wanna show you the fans. Now, this one we looked at yesterday on the 10 foot guy. He has a bigger, more industrial, stronger fan to inflate him. And the Fright in the Box has a very small fan right on the back here. But as you can see, that small fan does not like take anything away from it. I mean, Fright in the Box is fully inflated as is the giant 10 foot clown with spinning buttons. So guys, with all that said, I am gonna get ready and go out and film some Spirit Halloween stores, maybe some Party City stores. You guys take a moment right now to cast your vote. Leave me a comment below and tell me which one you like best between the Fright in the Box or the giant clown with spinning buttons. 